it is May. <laughs> um, today is the 9th and this is your weekly reflection. I am sitting on the beach trying to avoid people. <laughs> so if I'm a little bit distracted it's because people are walking by down by the water and I just don't want them to come close to me. But I got my mask so I'm prepared. <laughs> um, so questions to help you self-coach and plan and reflect. What went well last week and what didn't go well? Um, so what did go well last week was I was able to get a lot of things done. Not everything I put on my list. I think I overreached <laughs> on my list, but I did get a lot done. Um, on some website copy and graphic design stuff, and just logistically planning. Um, what did not go well, well, it's a good thing. I got my first COVID booster shot, my fourth vaccine and all. So that, um, like I have an immune, a primary immune deficiency, um, meaning I don't have the antibodies like regular people do to fight off things like the common cold or the flu or COVID. Um, so the research is not as robust um, <laughs> with the general population. So getting a vaccine hopefully will help protect me um, because I need more protection. <laughs> Um, but it did knock me out and just, it was like, typically my response to the vaccines has been like fever, aches, headache, but the biggest thing is just exhaustion. So I did a lot of naps, which was nice. Um, but I didn't get, I wasn't as active and I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Top three things that you want to get done this week, that you will give your time, energy, and attention to. So I am continuing to build out my Calm Conflict syllabus with all the resources and things that I will be using for the program I'm building. I am keep working on my website um, and keep working on my dissertation proposal, which is tied into the, the Calm Conflict pro program. Um, so what is the busiest part of your week and the quietest part of your week? And how does that impact your planning? Um, so usually on Sundays, I look at my week and I see what appointments people have scheduled. Um, and then I kind of block out time around that to make sure that I have my own self-care time and time to do my own deep work. Um, and just build in margin. If I have meetings, a lot of meetings in one day, I might block off time that day just for rest. Because even meetings in Zoom, if I do more than two, I know it tends to affect my energy because I'm, I'm an introvert. <laughs> um, so what can you take off your list for this week? Because I am doing a lot of work heavy tasks um, I'm trying to keep like my daily routines as simple as possible including cooking like I already told my son we might be eating out this week just not eating out but you know getting like curbside or takeout um, there's pelicans going by it's so cool to watch um, and You know, I got cleaning out of the way. I did all the laundry, so I won't be distracted by like normal mundane life tasks. Um, I'm also not feeling super great still, so I'm not going to push myself in terms of my fitness goals. Um, I will keep to like my daily meditation and yoga, but I don't think I'll be doing weightlifting or rowing this week. Um, 
and that will save me some time um, and also give me the rest I need to recover from <laughs> from not feeling well um, what can you do this week to set yourself up for success uh, so I'm gonna continue to rest when I feel like I need to rest um, and like I just mentioned I cleaned my house in advance just to make sure like that wouldn't impact my energy or decision fatigue um, and last question what bright spots are you looking forward to this week so bright spots are little things that you can enjoy um, and I have two the first one is always getting outdoors into nature um, so here I am at the beach <laughs> but getting into the woods um, jumping into the salt water and then the second one is learning and as I am building my calm conflict program I am reading a ton of really interesting books and research and learning how to do stuff for my business and I really really love learning so um, that's been super enjoyable for me so let me know what you think um, what your answers to these questions are if it's helpful and if you're interested in um, being coached reach out to me we can schedule an exploration session it's just a free 30 minute zoom call to see if coaching is right for you if we'd be a good fit um, i coach kind of at the intersection of self-care trauma conflict um i'm just helping people get things done in general it's values-based client focused coaching so i will never tell you what to do i just support you um, and help you to be your best self and stay tuned for um, calm conflict i'm really excited to build out this program and share it with the world so that's it and i will let you see the ocean <laughs> um take care